Michael on uh, Bant Control and Justin Uppel also on Bant. Uh, Michael's on kind of more of a, a classic Bant Control. Yeah, we saw Michael list. play yeah. earlier on we camera. We also saw Justin. Uh, Justin on oh, Prime Speaker Bant. Uh, yeah. Justin does not have access to Sphinx's Revelation, though he could cast it. Right, and we mentioned that earlier, and uh, a lot of them are just playing white just for locks on uh, Smiter and Resto Angel. Yep. Um, and I feel, I guess I feel like Prime Speaker is their um, Sphinx of Revelation, so. Yeah, it, it pretty much is. I, it looks like that uh, that first game must have just ended. So, uh, so you've got some time before these guys get into game two. Um, yeah, as we mentioned kind of before this round started, Bant, especially Prime Speaker Bant, has been doing, uh, doing very well. Uh, no Prime Speakers in... Michael's list, though. Yeah, this is much more of a classic I, uh, list. I think uh, I think I was either misinformed or misunderstood because I, I believe Glenn told me that Michael was on Prime Speaker Bant because I have that written down next to his name, but he's that's, just on Bant Control. That's so Glenn. I know. Come on. Everything Glenn. is just everything looks the same. Everything to him. looks like Prime Speaker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Looks down. Like Prime Speaker's a Ghana there again. There he is again. Uh, this list in this it's interesting because. States this year in Virginia, this is what I played against in the top eight, and the list hasn't changed that much. I mean, if you look at these cards, almost all these cards came from uh, Ravnica. Right, and, like, where's the gate crash card? Yeah, let's look over here. We got Angel, Verdict, nope, I'm looking, I'm looking. Do you see any? I see zero cards from gate crash. Same here. Uh, Except for about, Breeding Pool, got us. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Besides doesn't count. Breeding Pool, yeah, it kind of doesn't count. But that's it. No, that's it. No Even way. in the sideboard, it's all Ravnica. Ravnica. Yeah, so this is this is Wolf Run Bant, though. He's got uh, he's got Kessig Wolf Run right. in the deck. And we're underway. So Justin has a turn one Arbor Elf. Michael has turn one Temple Garden. And it looks like Justin's on um, some sort of... Uh, mono green Dungrove Elder <laughs> list yeah, yeah, right now. It's forest, forest. Yeah, it looks like he has a seven. Are you? This is just an easy mulligan to me, isn't it? Yeah, he's on seven. Yeah, that's uh, that's a rough keep there from Justin. Yeah, well, uh, Michael's uh, up a game already, so this hopefully we still get some good magic here. Um, you'll notice that he's playing Wolfron Bandit and Melissa De Tour played it, and a lot of people played it. Uh, but it transitioned from a more um, Nefalia Drown Yard was a splash. Yep. People realize, why would I want to waste time with this one Drown Yard when I can just make every creature a 15 power creature and attack them? So. Yeah, it's kind of amazing that no one really picked up on that. It was, you know, just was it just like, oh, everybody's gaining so much life. I think I'll just go with a Drown Yard to try to kill them. Yeah, and also they kept losing the Drown Yard, so they felt Drown Yard was their best answer to Drown Yard, which is in fact the opposite, because they have four Drown Yards and you have one, or two. Right. But one Wolf Run or two Wolf Run is devastating. So it's, it can just knock you out of the park. So in the meantime, Detention Sphere took care of uh, Justin's Arbor Elf, and Michael followed that up with a Thrag Tusk. Meantime, Ju uh, Justin has found some other colored <laughs> uh, mana sources and has a uh, Restoration Angel in play, and now follows that up with a Garrick Primal Hunter. Gonna get a beast. I think Justin has, uh, yeah, has definitely has some fortuitous draws, if you he uh, certainly ask did. me. But, uh, you know, it's magic, and he could have drawn, I guess, a breeding pool and been ever, even better. So, we'll, uh, at least you have a game of magic, that's what I want to say. Absolutely. So, it looks like Michael has a Supreme Verdict in hand, uh, Augur Bullets. He needs to find a way to get to that. Garrick. Yeah. Because if he draws cards of that Garrick, he's going to be hurting badly. Oh, he has a Detention Sphere. Alright, so what's he gonna, he's going to do is he's going to, I think I just Detention Sphere here and play Augur. Yeah, and then and save the Wrath. Yeah, yeah that's, I would just say go after that. He can go in either order here. <laughs> yeah. Goes with Augur first. I don't think I attack with Thryatusk here. I think he just blocks with a a beast token, you're gonna be, you're gonna use that supreme verdict very soon, and you don't, you want to end up with that three three afterwards. So I think you just attention sphere here, and then say go. Hold the tusk back. Right. Let's see what Michael does. He does have the sphere, takes out the Garrick. So that forces Justin to play more creatures because he's facing down a threat with a guy who knows he has a revelation. So he's gonna have to apply more pressure to the board. Justin untaps. 
Justin a, uh, a stalwart on the Open Series in, in this kind of area. I know he. Uh, I know I've seen him playing and doing well in Cincinnati events. Um, it's another great thing about Star City where you have regional champions, you know? Yeah. And, like, I don't know anyone here. I feel pretty lonely, except I have my buddy Joey here, you know? <laughs> but uh, there are a lot of good players here that I've met. And if we're in D.C. and the East Coast, my area, we have another slew of regional champions yeah. as, uh, that I'm friends with that, you know, you just have them from place to place, and that's what the Open Series kind of created here. So Justin lands a Thrag Tusk and uh, passes back to Michael time. and, uh, yeah, looks like Sphinx's Revelation is going to happen. Michael playing very oh, smart. Like four here, it looks like? Yeah, yeah it's four cards. Four. Very smart play because we see the negate, but Michael knows after board that the, all these uh, speaker decks, these prime speaker decks have counter magic. So he's now fully loaded. Oh, there's a memory depth that is never getting casted. <laughs> not for a while, anyway. Yeah, not a single blue mana source on Justin's side, unless it's a uh, wizard, because that's what he named the Cavern of Souls. Yeah. Uh, Jace memory adept it may seem like a wizard, but he is actually a planeswalker. He's a planeswalker, <laughs> cannot be helped, and he so, activates a township here. Yeah, Gavany Township going to uh, pump all of Justin's dudes, but uh, passes back. And Michael Bernat now untaps with uh, opportunity to. He's got the house pretty much in his hand. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of options here. I mean, he can go. Well, see, I, can't, I can't see his hand, but we know he has a verdict. Yes, yeah, he's got Thrag Tusk, a bunch of white spells. I can't tell what they are. It's his verdict there, and two white spells. I can't see them. Does he have any counter spells? Because, you know. I haven't uh, seen one. Verdict, of course, is going to leave a beast on Justin's side as well as Michael's side. Uh, looks like he's going to go with the Verdict here. Yeah, I like that. Justin's beast is going to quickly outclass Michael's because of the Gavity Township, right. uh, if Justin wants it that way. So there's the Verdict. That resolves both players with a beast. I don't know if those white cards are in his hand. I can't. I see, like, you see those oh, white cards? Oh, two Restoration, Restoration Angels. Angels. Okay. Yeah, Restoration Angels. I think I just called oh, them Restoration Angels. Why does he Angels, why do play Attack Lane? I, I wonder. That's a good question. Just not planning on playing the not playing the sun tunnel group. Because an angel here into a double block seems pretty good. He kills the angel, but he's done with his mana for the turn. He must have a counter spell. I guess the only way I see him playing like that. Yeah, when that guy cannot slider. be countered. I mean, you could try. Not no attack. Him. Justin passes. His verdict off the top. Lots of rats. All right, well, I, I don't think Michael wastes the verdict yet. Looks like some sort of... There must be a discrepancy somewhere. You're not quite sure what that was about. Actually, I take that back. If he plans on playing the land here, he can verdict and then uh, strike to us, yep. which is and then he has double rest on angel. Yeah, we definitely go that route. Attack for three first for flavor. Come on, man. Yeah, just just for fun, running oh, into that smiter. Always do it. It's, 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 there's no, there's literally no reason not to. What's the worst case scenario? Blocks. People don't like being sneaky anymore. Yeah, and limited. How I don't know who you're talking about because I I do that all the time. Yeah, you do. How about limited? Do you attack when you have nothing? No, no I comment trick. I think I bluff I way too much. I bluff all the time. It's great. That's that's a I thrill. Like, My heart starts beating. I'm like, it is. You're attack like, with this one gotcha. one and your four four. Is it good? Take it. Woo! All right. So he's got. All right. Well, Michael just made the shade here. He's got lots of restoration angels, and you see Justin has a uh, syncopate. But how long can Justin say play, you know, draw go, getting beat in the face for five? Michael's not going to play anything. I mean, I wouldn't. I would just keep attacking, let him answer it. But he's going to play Resto here. He has two. I mean, he can afford to waste it. But he knows Justin doesn't have Sphinx in the room. Oh, he doesn't? Doesn't take a thing? He doesn't have the mana two, I guess. He just has five open. You can only do it for five, I guess. Yeah, you can only do it for five. He played that land tap. All right, well... In that case, definitely for the rest of Angel. Yeah, so Angel comes down, links the Thrag Tusk. Justin's going to need a 
an apocalypse here. <laughs> Yokel hops? Yeah, he's gonna need uh, the old obliterate. Arbor Elf, the mighty Arbor Elf. And a prime speaker, Zagana. All right, well, he's gonna see this rest range on the turn, and that is game over. That is beyond lethal damage. Dissipate on the prime speaker? Just for fun. Oh, he named, he named Wizard. Oh, and, you uh, can still do it. Yeah, yeah, he's like, no, I don't no, want to. You can't take I don't want to. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, matter. Like, I, once Michael plays his rest set, it's uh, uh, two, the six damage unblockable with three ground pounders, and that is lethal. That's not damage. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's Michael's fine, but officially he dissipated <laughs> that, and it, the dissipate just must happen. It has to happen, yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate that that's the way Cavern of Souls works, but. It used to be you had to name. You had to announce your announce cavern. What cavern you were using? That was the way that made sense. This is the way that it actually works. Right, yeah, right. Just, you know, it's giving you the benefit of the doubt that you're making it all kind. Yeah. All right, this would be. I wouldn't call this a slow roll, but this is a very. So there's that restoration angel, and this is nine damage on the dot. Everybody over. Yeah, that's it. So Michael Bernat defeats Justin Uppel in the.